it's also because like if I did begin to earn money off just making videos enough money so my parents would say okay maybe now you can just stick to making videos and I have uh, about 10 hours more per day 10 hours that's like five times as much time to really begin working on my business and actually making these videos and I've become and like be, already able to earn a good amount of money like a really good amount of money so that I could secure my future with uh, like investments and the problem is that I have to go to college I don't know if I would have considering right now I don't think I need to do much after like eight hours of school at once it's going to be like 10 hours so it's going to be two hours of work I don't know if I'd actually be able to try to introduce the business if I was going to have two hours more work per day um, in college. That kind of like pressured me um, to point that I, I don't know if I would actually be able to do that because I also want to start martial arts. And so if I did both of those things, I would have time for my business and I'd have to go to martial arts and it'd still be very, very hard for me to start the business. Like we're not in this right now. Mm. If you're not doing the business work, you come home, you don't actually really want to work on this business, then how do you know if this is the right business model for you? I do. I, I come home and I want to work on the business, but I don't do it. I, I just don't do it. I know what's, what's wrong with my brain. I, I get home, I am in the gym after school. I say, uh, sometimes I'm not because I've rest days. It's the same. Uh, either day when it's rest or not, I still have no energy after school. And while I'm at the gym, riding home from school, looking at nature, uh, I'm in Egypt because everything's blossoming right now, so it's really beautiful. Um, but I, I drive home on my bike and I just, I just think about how I want to become a millionaire. How I want to have so much money and just like passively have them invested. But when I get home, I just just don't do it. Instead, I'm like, I'm sure I start making stuff. And then I'm just like, oh, I have to find these, these uh, apps to create the videos correctly. And, it's too much, too much work, and I just have to get to it, watch videos instead of, you know, I don't want to do it. Mm. It is interesting what you say, because you mentioned you want to get into investing afterwards. Correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like what you want to do is quickly make as much money as possible from this business, put it into investment so that then you don't need to continue working on this business. Yeah, I, I, can, I can work for, after, for a few years if I need to. Like, I'm entitled to that. Do you think this would be the best way to go about your work life? To work on something that you don't like, that you really want to stop? And to try and make as much money as possible so that then you could have enough money so that you don't need to do this thing that you've dedicated a few years of your life to. Maybe not, but it's, it's, it's something that I dislike doing, the work, uh, this business. It's maybe not thing that I really want to do because my, my main purpose, what it feels like right now, like the thing I want to do is I want to train for strong and defeat a strong man um, in the future, but I, I can't upload money in three months to do that. And so it had to take a lot of years before I could actually begin to, to actually like, even make videos about it and, and earn money off that. And we'll probably even get enough money to really be able to invest it because I just want to be able to kind of be free and do what I want with my time and start a business that I, that I really want to. Or I don't know if it's a business I want to drive forever, but it's probably not. I just want, I just want money so I can invest it. So I can follow my purpose, which is right now it's just I want to be a strong man. It's interesting that you care so much about investing. Hmm. I'm not too sure if that's the best way to go about your, your path to wealth. You see, no one actually gets rich from investing. There's no one ever in the history of mankind who's gotten rich from investing. Every other, every person who seems like they got rich from investing actually got rich from something else, and then they they had a lot of money, and they then put that into investments, and then that money made even more money. Gambling is different. Buying something that goes up in uh, ten times or something, which is speculative, and it's crypto, and it's this random stock that goes to the moon or something, some shit coin. It's like that's just gambling at this point. That's like going to the casino. That's not investing. But investing in real estate, investing in uh, dividends you said, and index funds. It's like these things are cute. These things are really cute if you're a man who isn't ambitious and has low testosterone and low sense of self worth. But for men who actually have balls, you invest in yourself. Whatever money you make, you invest in yourself till you're making a lot of money, tens of thousands per month. You have so much money that you don't know what to do with it. Where are you going to put the money? Because it's not safe in a bank account anymore. Now you put it into investments. Up until you have too much money in bank accounts, you should spend absolutely zero seconds thinking about investing. It is a total waste of time. And the people who make those investing videos where they tell you how to start investing for $50, they're not making those videos to help you. They're making those videos because it's a high CPM and they make money from you. I'm telling you as someone who cares for you and I have, I don't have a trading 212 sponsorship to try and tell you, you know, free, free stock. If you click the link in my description, I've got nothing to sell you in terms of investing, right? When you have too much money in your bank account, then you should think about investing. Till you have, I'd say, above 100K, literally $100,000 in a bank account, there is absolutely no point in looking at normal investments. You shouldn't look at normal investments. You should just spend as much money as you possibly can on your own development. That will give you 10 to 100 to 1,000 to maybe a million times higher ROI than any normal investment that you could possibly look at. Getting, literally investing in someone to cook your food, let's say if you're a little bit older and your parents aren't going to cook, that has a higher ROI than every crypto, every stock put together. Investing in your sleep, investing in your skills, these are all 10 times better than investing in someone else's company. So if I was you, Vincent, I know that you've got an interest in investing and it seems kind of cool because it seems like you're essentially just getting kind of free, free money. But that should not be the goal because you're a smart, ambitious, hardworking young man. You want to be a strong man. It's like you've got discipline, you know consistency, so you're being amazing at business. If you find that the business that feels like how being a strong man and training strength does for you. This business idea that you have right now, you are only trying to do it just because you want to stop doing it. That doesn't sound so smart, does it? Why not see if you can find a business model? which you like as much as you like training strength in the gym.